This is the Ares 7 Mars rover, which students hope will one day make it to the red planet. While this may look more traditional, everything you see here was developed by these guys from scratch in just two years. An impressive feat for a bunch of university students. Led by aspiring astronaut Danish I, this seventh generation rover boasts a lightweight four wheel drive system for rough terrain. And it can also collect soil samples. For the many parts of the rover, we are using something called generative design technology that actually helped a lot uh, losing the weight of the parts. Let's go, let's drive. But things don't always go to plan. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Lose your work. <laughs> but it's a space. Too many things go wrong. So try, fail, and try again to improve. Today, I'm here at Tohoku University to see the rover in action, including its robotic arm. We are trying to hit the switch. Yeah. It's part of the mission. Ooh. Ooh. It was really close. <laughs> there we go. Did you it. did it. Now you gotta do it in space. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Ready. The Ares team is made up of 40 students from universities in Sendai and Tokyo. <laughs> in 2024, they became the first all Japanese team to compete at the prestigious University Rover Challenge held in the Utah desert. Let's go. Where they battled it out against 37 rovers from around the globe. We learned a lot, not only just engineering stuff of the rover, but also we learned kind of like a scale of the space mission. While they didn't win, they're already adapting and improving. We are Ice Project! Like here in Tokyo, where students are hard at work on the next generation arm. Many robots around the world are switching from aluminium frames to carbon. And we've joined that trend, making the arm lighter and stronger. Undergrad Ryoji Nagahara leads the Tokyo team. He spent 18 months developing the first arm, which can hold up to 8 kilos. While human hands are quite flexible and can lift various objects, when it comes to robotic arms, the number of motors is limited. So we added a claw to help grip different shapes and lift them stably. Yes, there we go. Yes. This is a robot arm that will continue to evolve. What do you hope that it will be able to do in space one day? Space is a place where humans cannot go so robots will work in place of us. Therefore, we need robot arms that can more accurately replicate human work. The team was mentored by this man, leading Japanese space roboticist Genya Ishigami. He's working on his latest multi-directional rover that he hopes to see on the moon in the next decade. It is incredible that uh, they achieved those uh, things within two years. I feel that working with next generation or younger generation also inspires me to find a new technologies. So working with those people are very, very in, uh, impressive. The team hopes what they're doing here on Earth could one day be used to repair spacecrafts or conduct surveys on Mars. While they may be a long way from their goal, it's this undeniable passion for space exploration that fuels them. Maybe in the future, students develop their own rover, send it up to the moon or Mars. It feels like unrealistic, but for me, I feel like it's possible. Hey guys, I need to get a group shot. One, two, three, free. Yeah! If you'd like to find out more about Ares creators and their mission to Mars, scan here. <laughs>